Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Georgie Grimm. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you know every time I post. And today we're gonna be talking about mental health. Yes, mental health. Why? Because I've been having some issues recently. Recently, I've not been on my like best behavior. Let's be real here. But before we jump into that, let's just fucking talk for a minute, you guys. It's been kind of weird for me recently. It's been, uh, it's been kind of an emotional roller coaster if I being completely honest with you. I've definitely some things I'm not proud of. I've witnessed things I'm not proud of. There's been a lot basically but I wanted to talk about what was happening in my life just because I feel like it's only fair to you guys because obviously I feel like I kind of like left you guys in the dark about a lot of things that's been happening recently. Mostly about the fact that I had like a really interesting birthday and we're just gonna leave it at that. Aside from that it was good. Um, I had like a really special moment with one of my dear friends who works in my department and she gave me some gifts that are very special to me. I won't show them to you on camera just cause it's like, it's kind of personal, but that really helped me get through my kind of like weird depression phase I was going through. I'm still kind of going through it right now if I'm being completely honest with you. And don't worry, I'm gonna go see a therapist for that. So I, I'm taking care of myself right now. I am definitely taking all the steps I need to in order to promote proper mental health for myself and emotional health and all that. Tony has been a very big support in my life also. Thank you so much, Tony, for being such an amazing person and such a light in my life and somebody who I can always count on. Thank you so much. And I also want to say thank you to whoever sent me birthday wishes on my birthday. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing and wonderful and I really, really, truly appreciate you guys so much. And I don't know what I would do without you guys. Without further ado, let's get into the video. As I had mentioned earlier, I had a pretty interesting birthday weekend. If you guys want to know really what happened on it, go check out Tony's video he just recently posted. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Since then, it's been kind of a crazy emotional roller coaster. I am doing great. That is an overstatement. I am doing okay, if we're being completely honest here. I'm not doing the best, but I'm not doing horrible. Like, I, if anything, I'm doing better than I have been. And I had a talk today with Tony. I basically have been learning quite a bit about myself recently. I've learned that my emotional and mental and spiritual health are not aligned right now. And that's really affecting me deeply because I know that there's a lot of things I can do in order to like take steps to move towards a much healthier lifestyle and I'm doing so right now what I have been doing recently is before I film this video I'll just mention because I feel like I should not that it's really that important but I just feel like you know if anybody's going through something similar maybe you could take some tips from me and learn like what to do when you're going through some bullshit and be sure to talk to somebody especially somebody professional if you're not like doing well and you're kind of at a loss for what to do right now and I kind of personally feel like I'm at a loss. But what I found really helps for me is meditation, praying, positive self-talk, and saying a mantra for yourself that you create. For example, I kind of took this example from Tony and I, I appreciate him teaching me how to do this because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know how to do this obviously. But I'll tell you guys like what my mantra is. It's pretty similar to Tony's if I'm being completely honest with you, but it isn't. It's not, it's different because it has obviously different wording, different goals, everything else is different. I'll read you guys mine just because I feel like if it helps anybody to learn how to do it, this is kind of a template. And I took this from Tony, by the way. So this is Tony's template, but it's my word. So my mantra is, I am an award-winning actress with a fan base of millions of people. I have an Oscar and a beautiful home in Beverly Hills that I live in with my beautiful wife and our two beautiful children. My mind, body, and spirit are all healthy and sound, and I live a happy and healthy full life. I love my family, my life, and my success. So therefore, my family, my life, and my success loves me too. So that is my mantra that I say, and I will be saying and practicing for the next couple of weeks until I can fully manifest that for myself. But I have found that that and among many other things really helps me. Journaling also helps me. I also kind of like went a little crazy and like I went and I wrote on my mirror a whole bunch of positive self affirmations. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. I wrote down on my mirror because it really will help me just remember what I'm doing every single day because if I don't see this, then I'm honestly going to be miserable. So if you guys can see, it says like a whole bunch of things like you are happy, you are resilient, you are brave, you are loved, you are good, you are important, you are unique, you are okay, you are unstoppable, you are amazing, mind, body, spirit, you are you. And then on the top it says seize the fucking day and then it says I love you, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are a queen, work, make 
action with your life. That is such an important one. We're a Hollywood actress with over 10 million subscribers. Fuck excuses. You live in LA. You are talented. So that's basically what I wrote down because I feel like that's really gonna help me a lot in terms of my personal self-discovery journey. You know what? Let's just take you guys on the journey with me because why not? If anything, I would like for you guys to watch me grow as a person and grow into the person that I'm supposed to become. But so as you guys saw, those are my self affirmations that I wrote down earlier because I felt, you know, after the talk I had with Tony, I felt as though I really needed to just like nail that into my, you know, conscious mind, my subconscious, whatever you want to call it. Because personally, from experience of learning how to deal with this bullshit of emotion that I'm dealing with constantly right now, is that if you don't take action when you need to, then nothing is going to happen. And that is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to learn for myself, about myself, about my life, you know? And you know what? Let's just fucking like, let's just fucking do it, right? So forgive me, this is going to be kind of a stream of consciousness video, but I felt as though it was necessary to talk about my life personally as it was currently happening. Because if anything, I don't want to leave you guys in the dark about anything that's happening because I know that it's going to raise a lot of questions and you guys are going to be like, where did she go? You know, like she disappeared, like she does all the time. It's one of those things where I hate doing because I, I hate disappearing on you guys because I know that that's not fair. And you know, if anything, you guys are my family. You guys are my people. And I feel as though I owe you guys an explanation for why I disappear right now and then. Recently, been because I've been dealing with a lot of emotional bullshit, you know, in my life, a lot of emotional bullshit in my life. But I, you know, it's just, it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, it's hard. You know, let's just be fucking real here. It's hard existing in life sometimes. Like, let's just be fucking real. You know what I mean? I am not perfect by any means. Obviously, I am not a perfect human being. I never will be. I will always strive to be perfect, but I'm definitely not a perfect person. And I'm just going to be the first one to say that. I'm not perfect. I'm sorry. I have flaws. I have insecurities. I have growth to do. But everyone also does as well in their life. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is going to be 100% perfect ever. And that's just the basic truth. Nobody is perfect. And Jesus Christ, if anybody was, that would be crazy. I don't know how people would exist in life. Like, I don't know. Recently, I've been, I've been kind of like in a weird emotional state of like depression, more so than usual, I should say. I have personally dealt with depression a lot in my life. It's been an ongoing battle. You know, some days are worse than others. I definitely think that recently it's been a lot worse just because of the recent events in my life. You guys will never get a story time on what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I just don't feel as though it's my place to talk about it because it isn't. And that's just life. What I can talk about is my bullshit emotions that I've been dealing with. It's been a lot of like, like kind of like woe is me. Like, why am I feeling this way? Like why, you know, a lot of it's been just like a lot of like mopey depression, like spells and like, it's been super cute. It sucks because like, it's so annoying. Like, cause I'm realizing my bullshit right now. I'm fucking realizing my fucking bullshit right now. Sorry, this is my from my phone case. Cause I took my phone case off to put it on the stand as you saw in the mirror. The bullshit that I'm currently dealing with is my own self. That's fun, right? Like at least it's my own like self that I'm doing this to. So like technically it's not like awful, but it isn't awesome if I'm being completely honest here because I just have to deal with like my stupid bullshit. So like, uh. right now I'm trying to really like focus on like my vocal fry by the way. So I don't like so like this because that's serious vocal fry. You don't want to do that, especially if you're an actress. So I'm trying to be totally consciously aware of it. And I'm like constantly thinking of my one acting teacher, Michael Smith, because he would be like, you have vocal fry. And I'm like, I know I do. <sighs> it's hard because like definitely this is just an off the cusp kind of topic right now. But when you are an actress or an actor, you have to be consciously aware of vocal fry constantly because if you're not, you're gonna sound bad on stage, on film, on, on literally anything. Like I just don't do vocal fry. By the way, if you guys aren't aware, my leg is on the desk like this. It's been the longest week ever, ever, ever. So you guys, it's been a fucking long week. I'm gonna go see a priest on Wednesday because you know, so pray for me. I am like, like personally very excited about it actually because I know that it's one of those things where I have this really strange feeling that it's gonna bring a lot of really good things into my life you know like it's kind of one of those things where it's like I need this to happen in order for everything else in my life to happen so it's it's one of those things that I know will help me more than anything especially with like going to go see a therapist and all that and like getting acquainted with a therapist and it's funny because I 
have a lot of anxieties towards seeing a therapist because I know that ultimately a lot of my childhood trauma comes from going to therapy. It's one of those things that I just kind of have to get over because if I don't, then I am going to be very miserable and I don't want to be miserable because that's unfortunate and I'm not trying to be a miserable person right now. I already had a pretty good positive self-talk with me earlier. What I've also learned is that you need to take a lot of time for yourself, kind of separate yourself from everybody else in the world. Being alone is actually really healthy. It's hard. It's very difficult right now for me and I need to get a job by the way. Like that's one of those things that I need to focus on too is get a job because I need to make money in order to move to LA. So I've been looking at social media jobs because I really don't want to have to work physically in person because that sounds kind of miserable and I fucking hate that. So I'm hoping that I nail down a social media job. So if anybody has any suggestions, like let me know, you know, like let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to know because I'm trying to find a job but I don't know what to do. So I'm trying to try to basically do whatever I can do in order to like succeed, you know what I mean? So I don't know. There's a lot that's been happening recently and it's just, there's so much. My dreams have been weird again. I've been talking a lot to God recently like a lot to God, like a lot to my angels, a lot to like spirituality in general. Like that's been the most prominent factor in my life is God and religion and like all of that because it's it's one of those things that I find true comfort in because I grew up Catholic. You know, my family is Catholic. I have a literal priest in my family. And so it's one of those things where, you know, we, we were religious from the get-go. So it, it's just... You know, it's one of those things that I find true comfort in and I'm grateful to be around that because it's one of those things where I think that it's really important. I think it's a really important thing for people to find whatever they're comforted by in life and go for that and truly just make that a part of their life. You know, whether that be through nature, through religion, through the literal cosmos and karma and like what I believe in, in terms of like karma and the cosmos and the universe. Like I always will talk about how the universe is like my religion because it is, it's my spirituality. That's how I truly manifest the majority of my life is through the cosmos. In terms of my channel, I kind of want things to stay on the upswing. I haven't really found like a vibe I'm like sitting with yet. It sucks because I want to do a whole bunch of like fashion videos. Stuff that has to do with lifestyle and fashion and makeup and all that. Let me know what you guys would like to see because I would love your advice. I have a couple of videos I still need to post. I haven't been posting again because I've been dealing with this bullshit in my life. It sucks, but you know what? That's life. You know what? Fucking that's life. Life is not perfect by any means. It is not linear by any means. It goes up and down. You have up and downs in your life like that. You know, nobody is perfect. I'm saying this mostly to myself. Nobody is fucking perfect. Guess what? That's okay. But what does matter is if you're taking steps to get to that point in which you feel emotionally, spiritually, like mind, body, spirit. Like if you have aligned all of those, then you're there. And I'm trying to get there right now. So that's kind of what I've been dealing with recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification i'll catch you guys on thursday okay thanks bye